Here's one way to evacuate the coolant out of your snowmobile. Just attach, you have a back system, and attach the hose to take the hose off the throttle body, connect the suction hose to it. Okay, after the coolant has been drained, spark plugs are removed, uh, the detonation sensor needs to be unbolted, which is the middle one there. After that is done, then simply re loosen up all of the cylinder head bolts. After the bolts are loose, take them all out of the head. To remove the clamp to the hose to the back of the head, it's definitely easiest to access it if you have the gas tank removed already. Okay, so take the O-ring and put it on top of the cylinder head dome. And then the dome will fit into the head cover. And then work, what works really well is to take like a fender washer uh, and then screw the spark plug into that. Because that holds everything together, which makes it a lot easier when you're installing the head onto the motor. Okay, take the supplied new clamp and put on the hose. Put the cylinder head nipple into the hose and then tighten up the clamp. After the rear coolant hose is tight, then install all of the cylinder head bolts. Getting ready to tighten them down. Obviously it's very important to look at your O-rings. This is a good time to review the O-rings. You can usually see them pretty well at this point. To make sure that they are in the groove. Grab your torque wrench and then tighten to 24 foot pounds. Key on the coolant bleeder hose is we need to swap out the two going from the cylinder head and the cylinder. Basically just taking the long one and put it on the other side and vice versa for the short one. Okay, so now the head bolts are torqued, the detonation sensor is reinstalled and tightened, and then you can see how we've changed the routing and the coolant lines uh, since the nipple comes out on this side instead of the middle. So we flip-flopped these two hoses. Install the spark plugs, tighten them up, and put the spark plug caps on. Okay, the new cylinder head is on and complete. Uh, the next step would be to reinstall the exhaust pipe and then add coolant to the coolant system, making sure to run the machine outside. Uh, the best thing to do is to elevate the front of the machine. 
um, and then run the machine long enough for the thermostat to open, which at that time it will take a gulp of coolant and then you'll have to top off the coolant uh, some more. Make sure when you are running the machine to check for any leaks, make sure you don't have a pinched o-ring and just make sure everything is tight and good.